a lot of people in the business community, they say, why try to reinvent the wheel? We think those people are cowards. <laughs> yeah, cowards. Lazy people with no real imagination. It's called the Gesundheit Project. We are the scientists tasked with reinventing the wheel. We've been at it for a while now. I've been at it since 99. Dr. Rhombus joined in 2002. Well, after September 11th, I just, I realized that the wheel's time is, it's really over. And I'd heard these rumblings of an underground experiment in the scientific community, and I wanted to take part. People always assume that, like, the wheel is, like, the starting point of human ingenuity. <laughs> well, that's a bull-faced lie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, you realize that. Once you wake up from the lie, you'll, you'll know that it's, uh, the wheel of fortune is bankrupt. <laughs> I mean, as painful as it might be, we all have to ask ourselves... Is the wheel the most elaborate practical joke ever played on mankind? Like by aliens or whatever, if they play practical jokes? Painful to admit, yes. But once you wake up to the facts, it's just its oversimplistic design is bondage for the human spirit, trapping us in a perpetual maze of insanity. Something's biting me. The wheel is just a Neolithic device kept alive by the excellent spoke lobbyists, okay? We must reinvent the wheel before the wheel reinvents us. Exactly. It's time for a revolution. Oh, no, re revolution. Oh, and when I, when I say that, I mean it's time for a big change. It's time for the squeaky wheel to get some grease. And we're the grease. Society's been asleep at the wheel for too long. Okay? The wheel is turning, but the hamster is dead. The entire world will depend on what we do here in this laboratory. It's a big weight on our shoulders. And our scientific research is funded by a secret cabal of internationalists. They fund this project, and they have but one dream. I mean, they also want to destroy Christianity. That's a given. I don't think Dr. Kissinger wanted us talking about that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> their dream is to reinvent the wheel for all mankind as their final great contribution to the world. And to, like, make amends for the Manhattan Project. You know, <laughs> when you're working hard at reinventing the wheel, it's not just hard work. It's a lot of personal sacrifices. Yeah. I gave up red meat. I haven't fornicated in six years. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, you know, uh, scientific stuff that goes on around here. You know, like, sitting, thinking. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we do a lot of work. In fact, like, in the last six years, we've done many prototypes. Like the sonomagnetic prototype, the hydrosprayophoam prototype, and the popular genetically modified ant. That was a good one. We, we actually got a, a good write-up. Yeah, that one. sweet. The hoverboard. Uh, we, ha we haven't uh, patented that name exactly yet. We're also looking at uh, deck flotomatic. Yes. Six months of amphibian research came up with a jumping frog. I mean, it's a lot of trial and error, you know? Like, months of work could just blow up in your face in an instant. But that's, that's what great accomplishments take. Yeah. You just keep marching forward. Onward and upward. Sometimes down, but you always go back up. A lot of times down. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they say things like, uh, wasting your time, or you guys are crazy, I want a divorce, or, you know, stop looking at me in my bedroom window. One guy said my prototype smelled like urine. Well, you know, I was just saying is all. Albert Einstein once said, if I had a nickel for every time I had a penny, I'd be five times the man I am today. Now, not a lot of people understand the depths of that, but we do. We just hope that through our hard work, we can get that up to a dollar, a dollar fifty. Dollar seventy-five. That's where I was going with that. Our dreams are grand, but we know one day we will be thanked. Yeah, maybe someday find someone who wants to have sex with us again. Well, let's let's hope so. Uh, prostitutes carry disease. <clears throat> Gesundheit. <laughs> Not yet, Doctor Rhombus. But one day. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.